Namaste. Yes, I changed the color of my hat. Because if you know anything about anything, uh, cowboys would wear darker color hats to keep their heads warm in the wintertime. And in the summertime, you want to reflect as much heat as possible, especially in Texas. <laughs> so, anyway, my main point of this video is just to tell you how much I love you. And how much you love me. At least our souls do. We may not be able to stand each other here in the flesh. But uh, we're best friends. On the other side. And we have chosen. Our life paths. And uh, you know. Some of us might have even been elected. Hey I'll be your enemy down there. And see how you handle it. Okay cool. And I do the same thing. But know this we are all intertwined we are all god splintered pieces of god but god no less and not just us here on this planet but throughout the multiverse and i've learned a lot in this life and i still stub my toe and if I end up with an in, uh, injury somewhere in my body, I'll at least hit it five more times before it finally heals. Because it seems to just gravitate that way. And, hey, a lot of people say, I don't see color. Which, you know, that's, that's a very wonderful way of saying that you're not racist. To me, I see color. And I love all the colors. Why? Because everybody, all colors and creeds, including myself, have the fingerprints of God on them. Because, uh, hey, we're here because of God. I love you. Have a wonderful Sunday. No, I don't go to church. No, I don't believe in organized religion. And no, I only believe in certain parts of the scripture. My wife told me the other day that there is a, there is a person that, uh, or there's a, I don't know what it is, but they've made a Bible. Well, they took only the third page of the original Bible and made a book out of it. Because about every third page is where everything hits right on to what God is really about and what our lives are supposed to be really about. It ain't Ten Commandments, because that's just a lie, a mistake, if you would. It's just ten things that we would commit to not doing if we understood the full veracity and, and beauty of God's love. So, they, they've called, they've said that I'm going to burn in hell, which I'm not. Uh, they said that I'm blasphemous, and I'm not. Except, God does say that at least here on this planet, all real truth is blasphemous. To our own religious beliefs. God is pure love. And pure love does not judge. We don't have rules. We have free will. So use your free will. How you will. I'm going to use mine. And loving. As much as I can. Being positive. As much as I can. And uh. Dealing with my anger. And my uh smart ass ways of communicating at times just know this as God and, and God is us and of God I fucking love you